Leos. What's up, guys? Happy December. I hope everybody's doing well. This is going to be your December 2020 readings or whenever you find them. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, just a few reminders here in the beginning. Please like this video. I'd appreciate it. Um, also, sub subscribing is super helpful. Uh, sharing. If you found something that resonated, then for sure somebody else will. And um, leave a comment. Drop a heart. You know, if you're here, let me know you're here. I, I would appreciate it. Uh, also, I do additional readings every Tuesdays and Fridays on my Instagram page at grateful underscore Drake every Tuesdays and Fridays. So when you get a free reading, why not? <laughs> it's also the place where you can book a personal reading. Just hit me in my DMs and I respond pretty quickly and we can get the ball moving there. And then uh, remember to check your moon and rising sign videos as well as they'll always give you additional perspectives, especially if you're getting into this one and you're finding that it's not resonating. That means your reading is over there. Um, so let's get into it, Leos. I love you guys. Happy December. Take care of yourselves. Don't spend so much money. I just spent a chunk of, chunk of change today. And after I hit that purchase button, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? So, um... Anyway, it's just a reminder, right? Like, what are we really doing? Enjoy. Enjoy family. Family time. All right, Leos. I'm going to switch it up for you guys today right now. Leo, sun, moon, or rising signs? Ooh, why did I do that? Interesting. I I need to shuffle again. My automatic reflex was to shuffle again, so that I need to shuffle again. But normally after I do that one, I'm ready to go, but that's interesting. And then I tried to and then I couldn't and then I I, I was trying to go. So let me let me do this again. Okay. Leo. Leo. Some love situation showing up here. I'm gonna layer these out the out the gate today, which I don't normally do. So Leo's, we're definitely looking at hold on, I wanna see. Should I shuffle this way or should I shuffle this way? We're gonna do five. We're definitely looking at a love situation, okay? center card is the lovers and the thing about the lovers especially determining because of the cards that are falling around it oh. the lovers card is not only about love relationships but it's about discernment paying attention to red flags and and paying attention to um, the things that happen in the beginning of the relationship okay we don't want to overlook things that are really important to, to notice in our partners. There was something that you're going through in a relationship that doesn't feel healthy or strong, okay? I'm feeling a little uneasy about something in, re in regards to your, to your relationship. Oh, so I've actually never done a spread quite like this, so this is, I'm, I'm excited right now. Let me just Okay, so something needs to be brought up to the surface. Something needs to be talked about or communicated but has not been. There's some sort of kind of amends that you possibly were waiting for. You're waiting for an apology, you're waiting for someone to contact you, you're waiting for something. You're something you're waiting for something to come up to the surface and you worked really hard on this. But um, it doesn't feel like your hard work has been um, has been um, reciprocated or um, received or um, met. Okay, 
there's definitely an issue about how you look at relationships, um, your views on relationships, okay? And overlooking things that were obvious in the beginning. There's this new beginning or this fresh start that you're trying to have, but there's something from the past, probably, possibly this apology you're waiting for, or this person to come talk to you or make amends with you or something that's keeping you kind of bound. It's, it's, it's holding you down and kind of keeping you trapped mentally. Moving forward, one of the things that they're suggesting for you to do early on in the relationship is really to communicate clearly, to really speak your truth and don't walk on eggshells around people that make you feel, if you feel like you can't speak your truth, um, and if when you do speak your truth, it, it is met with backlash, those are the kind of the red flags that we're talking about here. Those are the types of things that you've been overlooking, possibly overlooking, or somebody's been overlooking within you uh, that makes it hard um, to communicate. There is something really spectacular around the corner for you. It, it's, it's, uh, it feels like it's going to happen pretty quickly here. Within this particular relationship that I'm speaking of right now, where perhaps you've been overlooking red flags and there's an apology that's owed to you or there's some sort of kind of communication or amends that's supposed to be made, it doesn't feel like things are going to move forward with this person. However, there are some big happy changes on the horizon for you, but you're going to kind of have to um, remember that moving forward, um, your communication style is going to need to be different. And you're going to need to not uh, walk on eggshells around people. Okay, there's this new start that's available to you. It's here on the horizon, but you you've got to um you've got to take care of yourself. You've got to put yourself first and stop worrying about so much. What am what if I say this like this or if I do this? How if you got to do all that? It it's not it's not right, right? So some of you are waiting for this apology or some of you are, are have been taking a look back into the past and, and, and feel the need to either apologize or receive an apology. Spirit wants you to know to not worry about that anymore and probably to let it go because there's something, there's a plan that's greater that's beyond what you can see at this time. Uh, so no need to delve back into the past, okay? It's all going to be worked out. Okay, um, some of you are either waiting for information, you're waiting for a message to come in, but it feels unlikely that this message is going to come in. This this kind of, you're waiting for something for sure, and um, it doesn't feel like it's going to come in. Let me get some more clarification cards here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. You pull three. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Big happy changes, but you gotta you gotta release whatever this other thing is. You gotta let it go, let it be in the past, let it stay there. Yep. Next card that came out is Eight of Cups, which is uh, emotional intelligence. It's you leaving a situation that no longer fulfills you. It's kind of a sad time. It kind of makes you feel sad. It feels kind of lonely, but you're aware and you're so smart. You're learning how to take care of yourself, and that that's just what needs to be happening. Yes, center card is nine of pentacles. Okay, so this this is all about you coming into your self worth, you self development. Okay, you really working on yourself. Um, okay, see how she's leaving something kind of heavy and sad. However, she's moving, she's walking towards this um, self worth. Okay. Some of you are dealing with issues with money too. Somebody might owe you some money. Okay. And you can manifest anything that you would like. Okay. Ace of Wands is, uh, yeah, having the energy and the passion and the creativity in order to manifest anything you'd like moving forward. 
okay? This Ace of Wands also falls underneath big happy changes. So there's something that's happening for you, okay? Something exciting. Nope, Ace of Wands just popped out again. First card underneath this Judgment card. So whatever this apology is about or this amends, revisiting the, the past and, and bringing in forgiveness, it's, it's, it's like Spirit saying no need to harp on it. Like we, we're making, we're, we're helping you and we're, we're, magic is happening. They've got it covered. Um, so it definitely feels like um, in this relationship or whatever this is we're talking about, it does feel like relationship though since the lover's card is the center card. Um, we're leaving a time, okay? Or it feels like what you're coming, to, my nose, I'm sorry. My nose has been so different since the weather's changed. Oh, I'm sorry which is weird because my body never used to be like that. Like she's starting to change the older I get, I guess. <sighs> Wild. Um, so you might've been dealing with somebody who was like, you were doing all this work. You really were trying to cultivate something really awesome and foundational and something that would really pay off long-term something that where you guys would maybe even grow old together. But the person, this other person, just never would reach out and take take it, okay? They just, it's just, they were never that person that you needed them to be, okay? Okay. Yeah, and just, and I, the card that came under that as I was describing that is yes. So it's just like there's something so much better and available to you. You have to trust in the process. You really got to trust in the process, okay? So underneath our judgment card, which is forgiveness, apologies, making amends, and we have our um, Ace of Wands, which is our making it happen, um, trust. You, you get the trust card in this row. So that tells me that regardless of what you feel you're deserved or the way you're looking at the past and how the past is being brought up at this time, just trust in the process because there's something here for you. Okay. Okay. In order to, um, find healthy, balanced relationships, it's, it's really up to you to make the choices that will, um, serve your highest good. Okay. Underneath the lovers, we have a reverse, reverse um eight of wands okay so also if you were waiting for a message if you were waiting for a communication it doesn't feel like it's coming in or it's it's there's a standstill okay um ah isn't that funny you also got communicate clearly again in the same position here underneath the ace of swords feeling trapped um, needing to find balance. Okay. So let's say you do decide because it's ultimately the choice is up to you whether or not you're going to communicate with this person. Although it does feel pretty heavy. It does feel like a situation that, um, um, like you could do better. Right. But if you do decide that you're going to move forward, they're just letting you know that the ball is really in your court. And the main thing you need to, um, is the communication got to be on point. Um, there is this, like I said, this new start that's available to you, Two of Wands Reverse. There is some hesitation towards it, though. You're feeling some worry. Um, it's kind of stuck in the past, right? However, if you are able to kind of let go and move forward and step into this new start, there's this celebration that's showing up here, okay? So either this is talking about the celebrations you're going to experience in the month of December, um... Okay. 
if you're having um, if you're having trouble with understanding where to go next, um, remember you got to ask your angels for help. In the card you got ask your angels underneath the two of wands, and the two of wands is a new beginning, um, a new start with somebody as well. So twos you think of couples. Um, so if you're wanting to meet new people and have a fresh start, remember to ask your angels. There is a strong sense of Sagittarius card comes up here. Uh, the temperance card is about alchemy. So manifesting what you'd like, but also finding, it's about finding balance in times that feel, uh, extreme. So when you're, uh, around a lot of chaos and confusion, or when you're around, um, people and personalities that you find difficult to deal with. It's about finding that balance. Okay. So it's about finding that middle ground and not popping off at the mouth or exploding or even not uh, going into a little ball, rolling into a ball and going into your cocoon hermit mode. Uh, when possibly through some of these situations, it would be so helpful for your unique personality to get in there and help navigate other people, help them navigate these situations. You might have the perfect personality for this type of work, okay? Okay, so we're mastering at this time, learning how to master our emotions. So when things feel really, really difficult, being able to kind of shift into a different headspace or, you know, in order to um, maintain composure and not go too far down the rabbit hole. Okay. Let's go. One card here. Leo. Some of you might be celebrating a uh, Sagittarius birthday. You know, you might have uh, relatives that could be Sagittarius. There is definitely a sense you got the community card. So some of y'all are really doing a lot of like spending time in, in, in within your community within your family circles, within your social circles. And then you guys got poverty. So, I mean, this could mean different things. Um, when we go through these major transitions within relationships, sometimes it can make us feel poor. Um, whether, I mean, poor, uh, poverty and poor are kind of um, like money terms, right? But we can also feel like that lack mentality that five of pentacles mentality, missing the miracle mentality. Um, so I would suggest this month to really um, delve and enjoy and soak up the time with your loved ones um, as a way to shift out of kind of this sad mentality or this not feeling well, okay? Let me pull three more clarification cards right here. Leo's. Yeah. Oof, that was tart. Oof, that was the last sip. It was tea. Oh, does anybody else drink matcha? Matcha. It's tart at the end. Maybe tart's not the right word, but it was something. Leo's, please. Ooh, thank you. There's Nuna. She likes to sit on my shoulder, but um, that's not gonna work right now. Here is two of wands coming up again. So there's been somebody in your life that has gotten away with too much, okay? Let's take that anyway. Oh, 
Did, oh, we didn't get that yet. I thought we got that. So there's there's somebody who's who's gotten away with far too much. Okay, there's this new start that um will that is beginning. Here's our new start. This two of wands. This came out again. See, this came out earlier. Um, and and then ten of cups is like our ultimate um, success and joy. Okay, so there's gonna be something really lovely that comes out of this situation that presents itself as being sneaky at first. Okay, so it's gonna it's it's you probably already went through the sneaky phase, hence why this is in the past position. Um, but you're gonna quickly discover here in December something really beautiful about it, and this is victory and success. Okay, and public recognition, so people will see your efforts. Okay. Leo, your card came out in your reading. You got the strength card, okay? So very much in your power. Interesting cards here. So um, releasing, relinquishing, relinquishing control. Um, this apology that I keep coming back to, it's the cornerstone of the reading. It's the very first card that came out, the judgment card at the top, the very top left card. Judgment reverse is this apology, this amends that we were waiting for, that we're hoping for. This maybe even being stuck in the past. They want you to let it go. Let it go. The strength card comes down that column. Okay. Spirit is helping you out. They're giving you a boost. No need to force it anymore. Things will come into balance. Look, you got justice. Okay. Also the card of Libra. So things are balancing out. There is an opportunity for you. You may have missed it before. You may have resisted this opportunity. It seems like a new mate could be on his way. Possibly fire sign, page of wands here. The wheel of fortune is reversed, okay? It does come down the column of the lover. So it, it tells me that there's an opportunity that you possibly have missed missed or, or have not wanted previously because you were stuck with this, thinking about this old situation, okay? But it's here for you again. Um... Mm -hmm. don't miss it yeah a strong indication that you've missed it before so don't miss it page of wands coming in and it's not gonna feel like you have to do all the work anymore with this person because I think that's what you're used to okay let's Yeah, you got to let go of the fear, okay? Your justice is coming, okay? Mm. Okay, so look, I told you page of wands, fire sign energy, possibly new love, create creative love, um, passionate love is coming in uh, underneath that card you got a year from now so sometimes when the wheel of fortune card comes reversed which yours did it can talk about like yes but divine timing divine timing divine time not on your timetable right like you can't rush this shit this is just you know they have a perspective that we don't so you can't rush it so it does feel and underneath the wheel of fortune reverse it, you get let go so stop worrying about the time frame as well. Something is coming into balance for you. you got the justice card, um, but in divine timing. Underneath the page of wands, you got a year from now. Um, yeah, and just, we never want to go backward. We never want to go back to 
the type of love that makes us have to, or any, even if it's in work, right? Uh, we never want to go back into situations where we're not being recognized for our hard work, where we're not being helped, where we're having to do everything on our own. The other person or the, the situation, the company, whatever, is not meeting us halfway, is not helping us. Okay, so just remember that. Let's move into angel cards. Oh, let's check the bottom of the deck first. Dun -dun. What is this? Ooh, Knight of Cups. Yes, so fulfillment, love, joy coming on in. Look at how he's trotting on into your life. So this is bomb. So this is anything that would fulfill you and feel um, would make you happy. So this could be relationships or this could even just be... Um, you know, just feeling joy in your day-to-day -day life. The things that you do that make you feel joy. Jump on time. Leo, 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 Leo. Abundance. Okay, so that's that's clear. Abundance, right? That's what's coming on in. Month of December is going to be a full month. Feeling a lot of joy, right? Hence the um, the Knight of Cups there. Pay attention to your dreams. They want you to pay attention to your dreams. You are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. Laughter is the best medicine. Yeah, so what I used to do um, back back in my 20s, mid-20s or so, um, I, I was very lonely in my 20s, and I was always, I just had, I just had a lot going on, okay? Um, so I'd always watch comedy, stand-up comedy. So whatever show that brings you a lot of joy, laughter, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to de detach and find the humor and irony within every human human drama. So, lighten up, right? Enjoy yourself. And spend time with funny people. Abundance mindset. So this is keeps happening with, with all the signs. These repeating words. Um, so that's your theme for December, Leo's. It's going to be a very full month. Abundance mindset. This says, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance Excuse me, as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Okay? Hope. I trust that God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me, okay? So having that faith, knowing that it's coming in and that this month is going to be full of joy for you. Okay, so we'll just take the one that I can see on the top. It's actually called joy, which I just said, so crazy, right? So it's uh, also a number 24, which is the day before Christmas. Let's read the, the little thing here if we have time. Even just a simple smile can go a long way to spreading joy in our world. Choose to focus more on those things that bring you joy and you will find you naturally begin to radiate this energy out into the world. The more joy you send out, the more you'll find you have to be joyful for all. This is a law of the universe. Okay, so... Sometimes it can be hard to feel joy when we're going through a hard time, but it really is about, okay, let me recenter, let me refocus every moment you notice that pain coming in. Okay, Leos, I love you. I appreciate you. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're still here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and be safe. All right.